So how's it going? Um, right now, we just want to go through something that is very vital to everybody trading. So we're going to be talking about uh, trend lines and how you can draw trend lines, how to find trend lines, what are trend lines. So I'm not actually going to go into the definition of trend lines. I think there's a lot of information on that and um, you could find some. Um, but we're just going to go through how to draw trend lines and all of that stuff. So let's get right to it. So here we have the euro dollar for our chart. So when you're, when you're drawing a trend line, what you're looking for is a general movement of price in the same direction over a period of time. So, so far, what do you think the trend is? Right now, the price is moving in a downtrend as we can see that uh, price hit a double top here and then started moving down. So this trend line will have zigs and zags. So it will retrace sometimes and then it will come back to the same spot. So that's not going to bother us when, when we're finding our trend line. So you see price has been moving down for such a long time. So we're looking at a 4-hour chart, okay? So when we're looking at trend lines, what we're looking at are price peaks and price lows. So a trend line would be from here at this high... Uh, here the high all the way to the low okay my line is white I have to change that right now I don't even see it where did it go all right uh, oh boy this is a fiasco all right so let's just make it as black as possible so this is our trend line right here so this is this is how price has been moving over over a period of time. So so now we want to draw a trend line as support and resistance. Let's 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 take this as an example. Want to draw a trend line as support and resistance. So we look at these peaks. So we have this this price peak. We have a wick. So we can use the wicks and the bodies just depending on the shape of whatever is happening. So, so we're just, we're just going to connect the bottoms to the next bottom. So we need at least two bottoms and then we extend the line into the future. So if we, if we use these two bottoms, you see that, all right, we have something that's like a trend line, but it's not looking so, uh, aesthetic you know like it's not looking so good so we could we could instead use the next the next bottom here so this is this will still be a valid one it'll be a more refined one so let's so let's look at what it would look like all right so now we use the wicks and um, I'm, I'm more satisfied with this one um, the other one is still okay but not the best one so this one will will still count as three touches uh given this zone because price is not supposed to to act to the pip but it's supposed to react to the zones so this would be a zone this would be a zone this would be a zone so if if uh this type of uh thing happens this is still okay so sometimes the price will come and uh, poke through the zone but it didn't close below so this is a trend line and uh, it actually the price moves like this a lot of a lot of times. So so what we're planning on doing when we're trading is is coming to these zones. And uh, while while we're at these zones, we want to find areas of interest to place our trades. And uh, the moment we do that, oh, my word my horizontal line is also invisible so once once we do that we'll be able to uh, <laughs> we'll, be, we'll, we'll be able to place our trades um in those in those same areas all right of support and resistance so so here would would have this entire region as a place of this this was once resistance now we turn to support at the trend line so this is how the trend line works so this is a very simple and easy way that you can make money okay
and this is when you wait for the price to come back to an area of previous resistance that it has broken and wait for it to line up with the trend line and enter when you see a candle like this this is easy money so you could so you could do this so <clears throat> another another way that you could um find trend lines is to also connect these tops so you have this and you have that however in this time frame this trend line has not been validated so this will not be helpful for your trading at the moment but sometime in the future as price always does it could come back to this area and retest it wow we almost made it but it didn't quite make it but that's okay so so when we're when we're, when we're looking for these trend connections we can also we can we can we can also try and connect the bodies all right so you don't you don't want to be forcing the trend lines to connect but you want to you want to be finding areas where the trend the trend uh started reacting in a certain in, in a certain way so sometimes it's going to be hard for you to detect a trend at first like when it starts to happen but what you need to do is to keep on saying that all right for example if you were trading over here you're trading in this area here so you just want to connect this line as soon as possible as soon as you have this but you also need to be vigilant of support and resistance so you need to understand support and resistance so you have this trend line right but you also have this zone here that you need to consider for your entries and your exits so why would you consider this zone because this is this is a reference to a previous area where price action had occurred and you have this type of action that uh, acted as some resistance this was resistance but it was broken by this huge candle so when you're so when you're connecting the trend lines you're considering all of these so the most important thing about a trend line is 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 how it shows you the price action as the as the price bounces at this area so uh in a normal situation you could be in the trade maybe here maybe here on this on this third trend line bounce because this second trend line bounce is the one that establishes the trend line so you should be in the trade when this parabolic move occurs and uh, as it gets higher and higher you're still in the trade until it actually breaks so you could you could you could uh, choose to adjust the trend line or you could you could just keep it as it is and just extend it into the future however sometimes i i use the bodies and sometimes i use the wick it's just a judgment call so so a trend line is valid just until it breaks so you want to stay within within this trend until it breaks so you'd add more to your position at this trend line bounce and uh, look for price action that confirms the upsurge that you're actually trading until it breaks when it breaks then you're looking for reasons to go short so the more reasons you have to go short the more that you will go short but in this case the short side was very short-lived because the the up the uptrend is very very strong so so you wouldn't you wouldn't be caught short because you're looking at this place where you added your position previously all right so it should actually come and break this area but it didn't it just tested it so all of these were potential trade opportunities and when it broke this resistance and you'd be looking for it to break this resistance and when that happens then you'd be looking to go long 
Although this this candle right here, it's not very very conducive for business um, on the long side. But but we're looking to see if this trend line holds. So if it holds, we hold. It didn't it broke because of this candle right here. So we're, we're, we're always looking for reasons why price would act that the way that it acts. All right. So there's always a trend that's happening uh, on the upside or on the downside. So here we have this trend. All right. We have this trend and it was actually uh, faked out and then and then price um, price continued to go up after it retested it so when we have uh, a break such as here here we have a trend line it broke but it had not come back to retest the trend line so sometimes you find a retest sometimes you won't in this case we didn't get a retest and uh, sometimes most of the times you're gonna get a retest let's let's see if we have a retest here all right so here the 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 price broke the trend line let me make sure that we're on the same page here this is what we're looking at okay let me just delete all of this other stuff so that we're not uh, getting anything mixed up all right because this information is potentially million dollar information so uh seriously it, it really depends with how it depends on how you take in this information and how you digest it okay so so here um the price the price came it broke this area and then it came back and retested so so when it came here this is price coming back to the back of this trend line retesting it and failing and then going back down so this is an entry zone so what you're looking for is to see a smaller trend line that's being tested and these trend lines are very profitable the smaller ones are very very profitable as you can see on the chart so when they break in the direction of the dominant trend this is where you're looking to take your trade so remember how we draw trend lines we take these tops okay we connect them extend it into the future this is how you draw a trend line this is how you draw a trend line so you could you could have different angles within the same trend line based on the connected points the the points that you've already connected we show you what's happening and what's what so 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 here all of these are very very valid trades and uh, we're just connecting the tops and uh, we'll see we'll see we'll see that everything happening is happening according to the to the, the to the trend line so here you could actually trade off trend lines alone as you can see so you're trading here we've already added some positions here as we've already mentioned and um here uh we saw that the trend line was broken it was retested by this candle and this m smaller trend line was broken and then would enter into this trade and uh catch a couple of pips however many pips that is and then this other trend line was broken it didn't even make it here and then catch another number of pips but this rejection coincides with this area okay so just just look up the lessons on support and resistance so that you can really refine your entries we were talking about how you you should identify the previous levels of of support and resistance by a previous reference candle to the opposing trend that's that's happening so this was an uptrend right and now this is a downtrend so when you're looking at a downtrend even if this small downtrend is is happening the reason it stopped here and not here and not here and not here the reason it stopped here is because of this price action this price action so this uh, anchor zone 
is telling you that price is still moving up and uh, it's still moved up. So this would tell you a lot of information based on on this area. So this is what we discussed in the tips to sign to finding support and resistance. Very very key lesson. So um, <clears throat> so when 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 price is moving here, as you can see, uh, price broke this trend line, this downward trend line, and then it came back and retested. So when it retested it, it um, it started to move up. But it retested with this wick and with this rejection, did not clear this low. All right, that's cool. And then it started to move down, but it bounced this trend line again. All right, and then it came back. All right, it came back to to a previous to a previous area where price had been before, and then it it got rejected. So it's not only that the the price came back to a previous area, but the price also retested the back of the trend line. So when you look at trend lines, what you want to look at are the two sides. So there's there's this side of the trend line, there's that side of the trend line. So as long as price is on this side of the trend line, which is below the trend line, price is moving in a downtrend. As long as price is on that side of the trend line, price is moving in an uptrend. So I hope you get that. If price is in this zone of the trend line, the downtrend anywhere in this zone, it means that it means that price is moving down because this trend line is is the downtrend. So the moment that price breaks this trend line you see that price broke the trend line retested the trend line started moving up again so the moment that price is anywhere above this trend line we are in an uptrend okay this is an easy way to detect which side of the market you should be in at any given time so <clears throat> So the same goes for this trend line here. That um, as long as price is above this trend line, we're in an uptrend. The moment that price breaks this trend line, we're in a downtrend, as it happened here. Okay, a very very easy way that you can just determine which side of the market you should be trading on. So this is determined by how you just join these. Uh, lows and uh, extend it into the future so this trend line could actually also uh, form into a channel so when it forms into a channel it means that you have an upward and you have uh, you, you, you have you have a parallel you have two parallel trend lines and the top of the trend line is showing you where you should cut where you should go short and this this happened once uh, here it bounced here but then the move happened the second time it happened the third time and the this time culminated into an actual break after we saw all of this uh, price action so so trend lines are very important and um, very easy as well to to detect and you wouldn't you wouldn't need anything else other than support and resistance and these trend lines because you're looking at the previous areas of support and resistance that are lining up with the trend lines so here we have a retest okay and here we have another retest and here all of these are bounces not retest but here when price broke this trend line it did not retest the trend line all right let's just go back in time again and see if there was anything again of interest but even even here we have what what we have here is uh the market not actually trending but going in ranges but if we use our trend line strategy here we can see that all right we just we're just joining the bottoms right we're just joining the bottoms and extending it into the future that's all we do to find trend line trades okay bottom 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 and uh bottom okay it broke it it broke the the bottom here but it didn't do it convincingly so you might not have taken the trade maybe maybe not but it broke it 
and then it confirmed that it broke it and then it came back down and then when it came down now we're we're below the trend line so we're assuming that we're in downtrend so would we'll connect these areas just like that right to see and then extend it into the future and uh, it doesn't look so nice right now <laughs> because you see that all of these areas were 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 violated so this is what would have happened here so here this would look like the price is broken but it did not even clear this this uh, retest so this would not be a, a valid trend so so this is this is this is just um this is just one way of uh, us discovering where 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 we should be taking our trades and um <clears throat> just uh drawing the trend line is all about uh, us connecting these price peaks okay these price peaks so so I want, to, want to do it in, in, in a way that shows us the direction of the trend. So there are always trends, even in a range. So we have a trend right here, and it actually broke, and this would be an actual trade. So when you see price moving um, in such an angle, at such an angle like this one, you could, you could, you could, you could anticipate that it is about to break it at some point because this is unsustainable. It say it says that um, um, when when people are it say that uh, houses of jade are houses filled with jade are un well, uh, are impossible for a person to for a person to protect for a long time. So the same thing happens here. When you're walking fast, you don't want to walk with your uh with your with your feet too wide apart even if you want to walk fast so this is important for you to know and to understand that uh when you're trading when you're in a trade uh you're looking for all of the opportunities as they present themselves at any given time and trend lines is one of the best ways that you can actually find these opportunities at uh any given time so so yeah so these are these are just trend lines and just how to draw them um let's see let's see uh this is this is a downtrend okay this is a downtrend so we have a downtrend we have two touches here so this this would be the trade but it broke it broke this this area here and then we'd be looking for we'd be looking for a retest so it didn't exactly come and kiss this and lick this, but it came close enough and it showed us that uh, this was a rejection. And it also came um, at an at an area where there was there was there was uh, previous price action. So these are these are these are the elements that that we're looking to trade, like this area, this area, that area, that area. And the trend line break and this would be a trade so um, as, as as you can see this just keeps on going on and on and on and on that uh, we're looking for bounces and breaks at the trend line so this is a bounce this is a bounce so this validated this trend line here so you could have taken this trade here and uh, this 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 trade would have been an anticipated long trade but price failed to break this high so it failed to break this high over here so when we have a failure to break a high it means that um, we are going down so price just plummeted down so this is a parabolic move a lot of momentum happened here so this is this is what what would have happened this is a trend line break so these trend line breaks come with a lot of violence so this is what we're looking at and um, this is just uh, basically how to draw trend lines and how to find trend lines so trend lines are very important because as the adage goes the trend is your friend 
So you should always be prepared to find trends. You should always be prepared to observe these trends and trade the trends. This is an easy way that you can you can you can do. And if you want to learn more about uh, trends, I have. Um, uh, a trading a trading manual a trading guide uh, and I'll just show you the description of that I'll, I'll, I'll link it to to this video so that you can uh, so that you can get some more information that will help you with your trades so thank you very much and um, I'll see you very soon